Canada has one-fifth of the world's fresh water, and most Canadians have all they need at the turn of a tap. But what flows into the sink at Jamie Wabus's home isn't fit to drink. It smells bad and has traces of uranium. It's only good for washing. The family cooks with and drinks bottled water. It's the same situation in homes on nearly a hundred other First Nations across the country. We're human beings. We're not in a third world country. We're living here in Canada and we're supposed to be like one of the greatest nations on this earth. But if we can't handle our own people's water, the indigenous people of this land are drinking dirty water, then that doesn't say much about our country, nor it doesn't say much about our political leaders. Water is sacred to Canada's indigenous people. They celebrate it with ceremonies like this, conducted by elders. This ritual is helping launch a new report by Human Rights Watch that says Canadian governments have discriminated against indigenous people by not ensuring they get safe, clean water. It's what First Nations leaders have been saying for generations. This country has become rich on the backs of our resources. Canada is not paying their bills to us. They're not uh, paying the rent that's owed to us. They're not protecting our quality of life. They're not fulfilling their fiduciary obligations to us. Canada's new government has promised improved water quality in Indigenous communities. The Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says all water problems will be resolved in the next five years. But previous governments have also promised change, even committed more money, and unsafe water continues to flow. First Nations are, live in a regulatory gap. They just don't have the same safe water protections as people living off reserve. And you shouldn't be surprised then if there's a discrimination in the regulation that there's discrimination in the outcome. With so much fresh water, the Great Lakes, countless rivers and streams, and many smaller lakes, it's hard to believe that Canada hasn't been able to get all First Nations the safe drinking water that other Canadians take for granted. But that's a situation that's now getting international attention. You know, brush your teeth, put some water in there and brush your teeth. The everyday routines that most of us take for granted are a constant reminder to Jamie Wabus and his family that there's something wrong with their water, something that affects far too many Indigenous Canadians. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Batchawana First Nation.